This video will be explaining how to use the bisection method in Excel to find the root of a function. And so on the left we have our iterative formula and this formula is used to find the, uh, the value for the next iteration and so on. And I'll show you how to use that formula. And so we're given the function negative 0.6x squared plus 2.4x plus 5.5 and we're asked to find the roots of the function. So how do we do that using the bisection method? First of all, you want to have a and B, these two initial guesses, so A and B are your two initial guesses for the roots, where they lie in between these uh, initial guesses. So we can just choose anything for now. Let's just choose 0 and 2. And so K is our first iteration. So that's our first line of calculations. And A is just our initial guess, while B is our second initial guess. And so F of A is just uh, this function with all the x values replaced with a, so we can do that quickly, times here a squared plus 2.4 times a plus 5.5. We do the same thing for f of b, but just we just replace the x values here with b, with these values, so it's just negative 0 0.6 times squared plus 2.4 times b plus 5.5. Now, um, you may think that we can go through with this, but there's a problem here. So in the bisection method, when you're calculating for the fa and fb values, you always have to make sure that either one of these functions are negative and the other one is positive. So if fa is positive, fb must be negative, or if fb is positive, fa must be negative. So we have to find a initial, an initial guess that satisfies that criteria where either fa is negative or fb is negative. So we just do so by doing a lot of guesses, right? We can do uh, 2 and 4, and if we check here, it's still positive. They're still both positive, so we can't use that, right? And I've done this problem already, and I've... Uh, eventually found that the initial guess that satisfies this is 5 and 10, right? Where, as you can see here, fa has a positive value, while fb has a negative value. When you see this, you can just proceed with the following steps. So make sure that when you choose an initial guess, that fa, either one of these fa or fb values is negative and the other one is positive. So since we have that, we can just find c. And this is where we put in this formula here, where C is just one half times A plus B. So we do that. And then we just repeat what we did before, uh, where we replace all the X values with C from the function. So it's zero, 0 0.6 times C squared plus 2.4 times C, sorry, for times C and plus 5.5. And FA times FC is just, well, FA times FC. And FB times FC is just FB times FC as well. And we want to calculate for the error. And this is important because typically your teacher will tell you when to stop when there's a certain error criteria met. Um, so we just do the absolute of this, of B minus A. Alright, so we finished calcula calculating all of the first row, and now we move on to the second row. But this time, we don't choose any more initial guesses. We have to use um, a thing called a logical statement. And it may be a bit confusing, but just bear with me. So it's just if, if this value is smaller than 0, then th this a is the true value well this is our value if it's false c so just take note of these variables you have to input into the formula and you do the same thing here where if this value is smaller than zero then this value is true and this value is false so you just replace the um, a there with a b but it's the exact same if uh, logical statement and with this, you can just drag down all of this. And eventually, we can just drag the whole whole thing down here until we are satisfied with the current 
uh, root and your value will come from let's say we stop the 35th your value of the root will come from C so as you can scroll down this is your root value and oops uh, here yeah I mean you can choose when to stop but typically your teacher will tell you when to stop uh, when it satisfies a certain convergence criteria so that's it for the bisection method uh, thank you if you have any questions you can always ask me down below in the comments thank you